Hello everybody, I am Aljit Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 708. In this question paper we have already discussed part 2, two part we have already discussed and in this presentation we will cover part 3. In part 3 we will cover question from 51 to 75. Now the question number 51 is, if 3x cube plus 7x square minus 5x minus 2 is divided by x minus 2, then what is the remainder? Find the remainder, we have to find the remainder. Now, if x minus 2, you can say is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, we have to uh, fill the value of x is equal to 2 in this equation, because that will be equal to then, it will be divided by 2 that is x minus 2. So 3x cube would be equal to, if uh, I put here x is equal to 2, then we will have 2 power 3 that is 8 into 3, 24. Plus 2 into 2 that is 4 into 7, 28. Minus 2 into 5 that is 10, minus 2. So 24 minus 12 that is 12, plus 28, 40. 40 should be the remainder in this case. Now if x minus y, uh, x minus 1 by x is equal to 3, if we cubing both sides, cubing on both sides, then we will have, this is cubing on both sides, we will have x3 minus 3 into x 1 by x and here 1 x minus 1 by x is equal to 3. So that should be equal to 27. We have to find the value of only this. So that should be equal to x3 minus 1 by x3. You can say, 27 plus 9. 36 should be the answer. Answer is B. Next question, question number 53. From point 20 meter away from the foot of a tower, 20 meter away from foot of the tower, angle of elevation of top of the tower is, this is 30 degree. 30 degree. Height of the tower would be how much? So, how height of the tower would be equal to, this is height we have to find the value of this. So, h by 20 and that is 1 by root 3. x is equal to 20 by root 3. So, answer should be D. Next question, question number 54. If x is equal to root 3 minus 2 minus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2, this equation is given. Then we have to find the value of x3 plus y, x3 plus y3. So, x plus y power 3 is equal to x3 plus y3 plus 3xy and x plus y. But we have to find the value of this. So that should be equal to x plus y power 3 minus 3xy and x plus y. This should be equal to x3 and y3. Here we have x and here we have y. So x plus y should be equal to you can take LCM here, root 3 plus root 2 and plus root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2. If you take LCM, then a plus b and minus b means a square minus b square, that should be equal to 1. And here it will become power uh, root 3 minus uh, root 2, power 2, that should be equal to 3 plus 2, 5 and then minus 2 root 6. Here also you will find root 3 plus root 2 and power 2. That should be equal to 5. Again, you can write 5 plus 2 root 6. You can cancel root 2 root, two, uh, root 6. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 5, 10. So that x plus y should be equal to 10. 10 power 3, that is 1000. You can write directly 1000. Also write 1000. minus 3xy. If you multiply this, then it will cancel to this. So it means x into y is equal to 1, 3. And x plus y, as we know, is equal to 10. So that should be equal to x3 plus y3. 30, 1000 minus 30, that is 970 should be the answer. Question number 55. And what is this question? If P minus 2Q is equal to 4, then the value of P3 minus 8Q3 minus 24PQ minus 64. So, cubing on both sides, then we will have P3 
माइनस एट के ऊ थ्री माइनस थ्री इंटू पी इंटू टू पी टू के ऊ एंड पी माइनस टू के ऊ इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट फोर विच इज इक्वल टू फोर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर दैट इज सिक्सटी फोर सो दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू पी थ्री माइनस एट के ऊ थ्री माइनस थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी फोर पी के ऊ ट्वेंटी फोर पी के ऊ एंड माइनस सिक्सटी फोर यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो पी थ्री माइनस एट के ऊ थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर पी के ऊ माइनस सिक्सटी फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो आंसर वुड बी बी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स Now, what is the question? If x is equal to minus one, then find the value of this entire expression. Now, here in this question, put the value of x, x which is minus one. So it will be equal to minus one ninety nine. That is minus one. It should be equal to here minus one because the power is in even. Then it should be equal to one plus minus one. Here, write minus one, and then it should be one. We are writing when odd is power is odd, then minus one because minus one into minus one into minus one, that should be equal to minus one. And again this minus one, then plus, then minus, and minus one. So it will cancel like this. We will have minus one and minus one. That is minus two. She should be the answer. Question number fifty-seven. From our from four corner of a square sheet of side four centimeter, four pieces, each in the shape of arc of a circle with radius two centimeter arc, are cut out. Are cut out. The area of the remaining portion would be. There is sheet of four centimeter square sheet that is like this, four centimeter, and. At each corner, four pieces each in the shape of a arc of a circle with radius two centimeter. That is, this is two centimeter. This is two centimeter. This is two centimeter, and this is two centimeter. So, like this, you can say complete circle is coming out having radius two. So, area of the remaining portion would be how much? Area of circle would be equal to four into four. That is sixteen minus that is equal to pi r square, and r square is equal to r is two. Because radius of the circle is two here, ninety degree. It means four a quarter circle would be equal to one circle, complete circle. So pi r square would be equal to four pi. So sixteen uh, minus four pi should be the answer is B. Next question, question number fifty-eight. The cost of leveling a square plot of a side two meter is. Hundred rupees, one uh, thousand rupees. What will be the cost of leveling a square plot of side ten meter? Now, cost of leveling square plot of side two meter, two into two. That is four square meters, and four square meter cost is equal to one thousand rupees. So one square meter cost is equal to one two hundred fifty rupees. One thousand divided by four, that is two hundred fifty rupees one square meter. Now, what will be the cost of leveling a square plot of a side ten meter? So, ten into ten, that is hundred square meter. Now, cost of this would be equal to cost of this would be equal to hundred into cost of one square meter, that is two hundred fifty. So, it should be equal to twenty five thousand. Answer is D. Next question, question number fifty nine. In a division sum, the quotient is three times the division, and divisor is two times the remainder. What is the dividend if the remainder be 46? Let's see. In a division sum, the quotient is this is quotient, this is quotient three times the divisor. This is divisor here. This is quotient, this is divisor, and this is dividend. This is dividend. Divisor is two times the remainder, and remainder is forty-six. So this is uh, if this is forty-six, then this should be equal to two times. That is ninety-two. And if this is ninety-two, then quotient is three times. That is two seventy-six. Two seventy-six. Question is, we have to find what is the dividend. This is dividend. So 
this into this multiplication of this into this plus this is the equal to dividend so 6 into 2 that is 12 12 plus 6 18 18 would be the unit digit and unit digit 18 8 is only in v so v should be the answer there is no need to calculate or multiplication like this answer is b next question question number 60 find the difference of 23rd and 27th term of the series 15, 13, 45, 60, 75. This is a series and we have to find the value of difference of 23rd and 27th. Here the series in this format. That is 15 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. So this would be 23 and then 27. Here the difference would be 27 and 23 uh, difference is 4. So 4 into 15 because 15 would be the common in this case. Answer would be 60. Answer is D. Next question, question number 61. A certain number consists of two digits whose sum is 9. If the order of the digit is reversed, the, do, the new number is 9 less than the original number. Original number would be how much? So this is also a very famous question of each and every kind of exam. Here the sum is 9. See in the option all are in the 9. If the order of the digit is reversed and new number is 9 less than the in this first case. New number. New number is 54. Which is new number is less 9 less than the this is not true. In fact new number is in this case high. Let's say C. New number is 9 less as compared to first number. That is C should be the answer. Original number is 54 because everything is here justifying answer is C. Because every condition is fulfilling. You can solve such kind of question in easy way by option technique. A field is 100 meter long and 60 meter wide. A path of uniform width of 5 meters runs round it on the inside find the area of the path would be how much so 2x plus l plus b minus 2x this is when we have inside and if we have in uh, outside the area of the path would be equal to plus then plus and x is the width so find the area of the path here length is 100 this is very important trick this is very very important trick to into 5 that is width of the path l plus b 100 plus 60 that is 160 minus 2 into 5 that is 10 so 150 into 10 1500 is the area of the path answer is c question number 63 if each side of a cube is increased by 30 percent then its surface area would be increased by let's say surface area of cube is this and you can cancel 6 to 6 if this is 100 this is 10 surface area each side is increased that is now it has become 13 so 13 square this is 100 then this is 169 it means 69 percent has increased surface area when 30 percent is the increase of a side question number 64 how many cubes of 2 centimeter a side can be made by melting a solid cube of 6 cm a side. So volume of the cube would be equal to 6 into 6 into 6. And smaller cube volume would be equal to 2 into 2 into 2. That should be equal to, you can say, 27 should be the answer is C. Next question, question number 65. If average of 20 observation x1, x2 like this is y, then the average of x1 minus 101, x2 minus 101, x3 minus 101, x100 minus 101 would be how much? The, we have to find the average of this. Now, in such kind of question, what we have to do is that in every observation, minus 101 is subtracted. So in average also, in the final answer, in average also, we have to subtract from y101. 
because then it will be because 20 times it is subtracting. So when we will find the average, we divide it by 20, then we will have only 101. So answer should be equal to B. Next question, question number 66. Ratio of the first and the second class fare between two railway stations is 4 is to 1. And that of the number of passengers traveling by first and second class is 1 is to 40. If on a day rupees 1100 are collected as a total fare, the amount collected from the first class passenger is how much? So first and second class fare between two railway stations is 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1. This is fare. First class and second class. And that the number of passengers traveling by first and second class is, suppose if there is one uh, passenger, then the here would be, it would be 40. 40 passenger. It means the ratio is 4 into 1 that is 4 and 1 into 40 that is 40. So collection ratio is 4 is to 40. If on a particular day 1100 are collected as a total fare, 1100, it means 40 plus 4 or you can say 1 plus 10, you can also take it like this. If total is 11, total is 11, then question is amount collected from the first class. Then amount collected from, if total is 11, amount collected from first class is 1. If total is 1100, 1100, then amount collected from first class would be equal to 100. 1 by 11 into 1100, that is 100. So 100 rupees is the answer, answer is D. Next question, question number 67. Average of the marks obtained by 77 candidate in an examination, certain examination is 70. If the average marks of the past candidates are 19 and that of failed candidate is 6, what is the number of candidates who passed the examination? So average of marks obtained by 77 candidates in a certain examination is 17. You can solve this kind of question by, by allegation technique. And here, past candidate 19 average and that of failed candidate is 8. So past candidate and fail candidate average and total average is this. So difference here would be equal to 2 and difference here is equal to 9. So 9 is to 2 is the ratio of number of students. Here the average marks obtained by 77 candidate. Total candidate are 77. Now the question is what is the number of candidate who passed the examination? This, these are the past candidate. So out of 11, 9 plus 2 that is 11, 9 are pass out of 77. 63 will be the pass. Answer is B. Question number 68. If S1 and S2 be the surface area of a sphere and curved surface area of the circumscribed cylinder respectively, then S1 is equal to here, see S1 and S2 is the area of a sphere. Surface area of sphere would be equal to 4 pi r square that is s1 and curved surface area of the circumscribed cylinder respectively is curved surface area would be equal to 2 pi r and that is equal to s2 and 2 pi r but here h is equal to 2r. You can write here h is equal to 2r. Why 2r? Suppose this is cylinder and this is sphere. So the radius would be equal to this radius. Sphere radius and cylinder radius is same. But here the diameter of the uh, sphere is equal to the height, height of the cylinder. So that should be equal to, that should be equal to in, uh, in 2 pi r into 2r. In other words, 4 pi r square is equal to s2. Here 4, r, 4, r, 4 pi r square and here 4 pi r square. So s1 is equal to s2. Surface area would be the same in this case. Answer is D. The next question, question number 69. The cubes, two cubes is 6 centimeter edge are joined end to end surface area of the resulting cuboid would be so this is very important sometimes this such kind of question generally student get into trouble 
so this is q and these are the q which are in effect like this so the length would be increased breadth would be in, not increase and height will not increase so two cubes is six centimeter as are joined and to end to end surface area of the resulting surface area means length would be now 12 breadth would be in this case breadth would be equal to 6 and height would be equal to 6 so that would be covered and uh, surface area of the covered is to l into b p into h plus l into h this is the formula and uh, l into l into b this is, uh, into this l into h so l into b that is 2 into l 12 into 6 b into h 6 into 6 l that is 12 into 6 so 72 plus 72 and that is 144 plus 36 180 into 2 360 should be the answer answer is b this is very very important because generally student what uh, it is very difficult to imagine sometimes under pressure when you will take the exam so easy question but how are uh, chances are mistake is very high silly mistake you can say next question question number 670 the question is a and b appeared in an examination if the difference of their marks is 25 and percentage difference in of their marks is given by 20% find the full marks for which the examination has been held so here the difference is 25 which is represented by 20% 100% would be equal to 5 times that is 125 marks would be the answer total marks 125 next question question number 71 one type of liquid contain 45% of milk other contain 25% of milk a can filled with 9 parts of the first liquid and 11 parts of the second liquid find the percentage of milk in the new mixture so 45 percent 45 by 100 you can write here and nine parts of it and in the second case 25 percent and 11 part of this so total should be equal to you can say total would be equal to 9 into 9 81 plus 55 9 parts is from 20 parts because total is 20 parts then 9 part so 45 percent into 9 by 20 and 25 percent to 9 11 by 20 that you can say for 400 you can write here because 20 to 20 400 so 81 plus 55 136 136 divided by 400 that should be equal to That should you can write here if you want to make it percentage, then it should be equal to 34%. 34% would be the then final percentage of milk in the new mixture. Because 40 out of 100, we have taken 45 content, and out of 9, 20, we have taken 9 content. So total would be you can say in 481 content. Here in 455 contents of milk. So in 400 we will see total mixture we will do if you have then it should be equal to 130 can 136 out of 400 in 100 you will find 34 percent answer is a the next question question number 72 in triangle a b c internal and external bisector of b and c meet at p and q respectively this is triangle a b and c internal a b c the internal and external bisector of b and c meet at p internal bisector would be equal to here this would be here internal bisector that is at p and external bisector would be here you can see like this and it should be like this so it should be q here 
this what we then the bpq bpq we have to find the value of this and pcq p c and q so what is the value of this so this value and this value we have to find the value of total now let's say let's say this is 60 degree and this you can also take 60 degree 60 this is for the simplicity reason so that should be equal to 30 plus 30 60 it should be equal to 120 120 plus we have to find the value of p and pbq p b q sorry this is this would be equal to then if this is 60 then this would be equal to 120 120 and that this is 60 and this is 60 similar to this is 60 and this is 60 we have to find the value of bpq b p and q that is 60 and 60 120 plus pcq p c and q that would be equal to sorry this is 30 because total is 60 then this would be 30 30 plus 60 90 and this is equal to 30 plus 60 90 so 19 plus 90 180 degree is the total value of this and this bpq bpq and pcq pcq 180 should be the answer answer is a in pqr S and T are the points on site PR and PQ. Let's say this is PQR, P, Q, and R. S and T are the points on site PR and PQ. S and T, side PR. This is S and T. This is T. PR and PQ. PQR is equal to PQR this angle let's say this this angle is equal to PST PST this angle and this angle is equal to if PT is 5 this is 5 PS is 3 this is 3 TQ TQ is 3 then we have to find the value of SR very interesting question now this triangle in triangle P T and S Internal PTS and PRQ. This triangle, this angle is equal to this. These are two equal uh, similar triangle. Why? There is one common angle. This angle is given, which is equal to this. So this angle is equal to this. You can say this is equal to this. Here you can write like this. So you can draw this uh, picture separately. Also diagram this separately. P PST P S and T. This is similar to here you can write in this form PQR. This is equal to PQR. But this is equal to this. Now see <coughs> here it is given PR. PR would be equal to, in this case, PR that is equal to here PQ in this term PQ, PQ divided by ratio, this is PS and PR, PR in this case, then this should be equal to PT, PT. This is the property of similar triangle property. Similar angle triangle property. Now PQ is given here. PT is given 5. PT is 5 here. And this is 5. Let me write here PQ. P and Q that is 8, P S because Y8 5 plus 3 8 and P S is 3, P R which is we have to find, you can write P R directly and P T, P T that is 5, that is 5. So P R would be equal to, P R would be equal to 40 by 3. You can say this is complete 40 by 3. This is 3. 
then we will can find the value of SR that is 40 minus 9 31 by 3 31 by 3 is the value of SR we have to find the value of SR so 31 by 3 C should be the answer what we have done in this question that this is a similar triangle property which we have used and we have made this diagram separately so that we can understand clearly so this is the property that we have used next question question number 74 two roads x y and y z of 15 meters and 20 meters length respectively are perpendicular to each other what is the distance between x and z by the shortest route this is very simple question however in statement it seems that it can be difficult but very simple question x y and y z x y z 15 meter x y y z 20 meter respectively are perpendicular to each other what is the distance between x and y x and z by the shortest possible route in other words we have to find the value of this pythagoras triplet 15 20 25 answer is d 3 4 5 is the triplet so 15 20 and 25 answer pythagoras triplet answer is d question number 75 a shopkeeper sells an article at a loss of 12.5 percent had he sold it for 51.80 more he would have earned a profit of 6 percent the cost price of the article would be how much so 12.5 percent this is a loss and if you could have sold at 6 percent profit it means the gap is 18.5 percent 18.5 percent due to this increase in the profit which is resulting in the sales of 81.50 sorry 51.50 51.80 now 80 18.5% is equal to 51.8, 100% would be equal to. So the trick is here, 51.8, here, 18.5 into 100, into 100. That should be equal to 14. It will go by 14, because it will go by 14, 14 to 20, 280. 280 is the now post price of the article so we have used the window technique this is a window trick in fact difference is equal to percentage means this percentage is representing this difference 100 percent would be equal to how much now in this presentation we have covered question from 51 to 75 in the part 4 we will cover question from 76 to 100 thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best